you know where you are you are in blessed by fan network yes so yes so everybody should be aware that blessed by fan network is a gentleman i'm a real gentleman full video of obese interview by rice tv hello viewers welcome to my noble channel now, contrary to what APC government said, Obi was interviewed by RS TV and he said, I put, I was never arrested, I was never detained, and I did not commit any crime. I have a written document from British government to prove that. And it's very, very right because for some time now, the APC government has been doing everything possible to look for a way to stand the gentleman. No doubt he's an Igbo man, but was endorsed by every Nigerian. He is not rabalized. And I want you to listen to the video from the beginning to the end, as you do. Remember this. that should come from the man in the eye of the storm himself. Well, let's not keep his many fans and opponents waiting because joining me now in the studio is the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi. Very, very delighted to have you here. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thank you, the chance for inviting me. And we know you've had a long day because I saw you on the television at the Labour Day, the May Day celebrations. Uh, uh, earlier today and you've gone from one meeting to the other so we really appreciate your taking Thank the you. time to I'm talk to us <laughs> <laughs> I like that now there have been a lot of reactions trailing your apparent arrest in London by the British authorities some have said that you were being witch hunted by the APC others that a petition was sent against you and still others that you were being impersonated can you tell us the circumstances of your purported apprehension in London and what has happened subsequently and sort of clear the air on, air on that? Did you commit an offence for which you were being stopped? Thank you, Charles. One is, I was never arrested. I was never detained. And I did not commit any offence. I was stopped for a routine immigration check because there appears to be a duplication of my identity. And all this lasted for maximum of 20 minutes. And I was treated in what I do with all due respect. Charles, I live in the UK from in the 90s, say from 1993 until 2005. I remember meeting you in London, Thank actually, you. in that period. Yes. Charles, not just that I live there, from that 1993 to now is a period of 30 years. I have never been questioned, arrested, detained in any country in the world. I've never been, even been, for any reason, found myself in any manner being questioned for any offense. I've not committed any offense. So it was a routine immigration check. And it lasted, like I said, less than 20 minutes. And I, I was actually giving all the due respect by the border personality mm. that interviewed me who told me your identity is duplicated be careful and actually had to walk me through the what i can call the vip process and everything and i have a written document from British government. I, I've effect. seen that document. Thank you. I showed yeah. it to you. Clarifying the, that the situation. That it was never detained and it, it was just a few minutes mm. question and everything. 
And they were Nigerians because I arrived on British Airways. So they were Nigerians who were queuing up. Even Woods here was even worried that I was asked to just wait for a few minutes. And when that happened, I explained it to them and they were laughing. But it's in the traumatized and everything, because it's me, people said I was detained, committed an offense, people said even committed several offenses and everything. Oh, his company was closed, he wasn't paying tax. Charles, for the years I lived in Britain, never have I had any day been questioned. And I can say it, my taxes, my days were duly paid. In fact, most times they have been refunded me money for overpayment. I've borrowed money, I've done everything globally. Not one day did I default in any. If you find one default, then it's not Peter Obi. Well, I'm glad you clarified that point about the arrest. And in, in support of the point you're making, I have seen the letter from the British High Commission making it ineluctably clear that it was no such thing. Nevertheless, as you said, there was a huge hula baloo about that in Nigeria. I mean, was that a humiliation for you, or at the very least embarrassing no, that, that at all at this was being talked about you? And I mean, no, even not, your, your, the people who follow you I, I would have, I, Charles, I would have made comment on it mm. earlier, but these things happened during the, what I call holy month, where for me as a Christian, it was a fasting period and period of the Ramadan. And I felt it is not time to make comments. I only answered one question within that period when I was mentioned with trees because I, I felt it's a huge offense. Mm. And because it was actually mentioned where it shouldn't have been mentioned. Other than that, right. I just felt this is a clarification. And I've just shown you the letter. Yes. I won't go about telling everybody and showing everybody the letter. Yeah, that is true. It just showed you where we've taken our rascality. Mm to where people now come up with all sorts of things. Well, some people said and you were deported from, no, from the no. UK. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but obviously not. No, no, they said I was a teacher and I was allowed to go. Right. I, they even saw where I attended churches and meetings and everything. And all, but that's where we have reached. But I mean, what sort of questions did they ask you when they Nothing. took you in? Nothing. I was there. Nobody took me to anywhere. Right. I was just in front of the council and were, I was asked a question and they said, there's something wrong with your identity. There's something wrong with your identity. Just give me a few minutes. And mm. I said, and I, I sat there for a few minutes, for about 15 minutes. He came back and said, your identity is duplicated. And if my identity is duplicated, you've lived and brought this identity theft, duplication, yeah, mm. which I would say, should I choose, must have originated from here. Well, I'm, glad, yeah, I'm glad you've clarified that point. But there, there's also another question being raised about whether you are a dual citizen. As you said, you lived in London for a long time. I mean, do you have dual nationality, either British, American, or elsewhere? Because I was reading somewhere that you were conferred with the honorary citizenship of Dallas, Texas in 2022. Charles, you know what that means? It means nothing. Yeah. Even one of the presidential candidates said this and that it means nothing. It just shows that, okay, well, if you come into this city, you're welcome. Hmm. It doesn't even give you a visa. If you apply for a visa, it can't even, it can't even help you for your visa application. It means nothing. Hmm. Charles, but I've never applied. Right. And I will never apply for citizenship of any other country. Yeah, but I, I, I'm I, a Nigerian. Right. But I, I believe in Nigeria. Mm. I lived in the UK for a period of about 12 years. I had a permanent stay. So you were a permanent resident in the UK? But I had indefinite stay, right. okay. which means. I Thanks for watching.